I'm Linda Ann Smith, and today I'm visiting outside of Studio ABC. This video is a double feature. We'll go first to Melba Carter's studio, and then we'll return to Studio ABC and I'll do a project. We're going to play with the brand new Vivid Ultra Metallics from Color Art. I'm just putting a little bit of water on my canvas, the surface. And I'm just going to brush mix on the canvas with some phthalo blue. And the reason I want my canvas wet is because it starts making it flow out. And it doesn't just give a solid print on, you know, solid color on there. And let's just see what kind of patting it with our paper towel, what effect that gives to it. See, that even starts making some little foliage underground under the water. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more white, and we're going to have a light source. And I'm going to use the edge of my brush. You have a flat edge like this. You have a chisel edge like this, a flat edge, and this way you have a flat brush. Okay? And I'm using the chisel edge of my brush to bring the light down. I'm going to add a little bit of dioxinine purple, which is a very royal purple. And I'm going to be putting in some vivid ultra metallics also. And you can also spray it with a little bit of water to blend it together. And it gives it a different effect. Now I'm going to use a filbert brush, get some water, and I'm going to take some of this paint right here, the, the phthalo blue green, and I'm going to thin it out uh, quite a bit. Then I'm going to take a fairly small straw. I'm going to add some more paint to this, then I'm going to try to blow it again. And while this is still wet, I'm just going to go in here and tap it and put some little fingers out a little bit in different places so that it's got a little bit more shape to it, more like coral, some kinds of coral does. And you can go in there with some oranges or just yellows, whatever color you want to make it really neat and interesting. Now I think I'm going to use a little bit of this Vivid Ultra Metallic by Color Art. It's going to be interesting. This is my first time using it, so let's see what we get here. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I think I'm in love. You never make a mistake in, in painting. You just have found a happy, 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 happy place. You just put your brush down and give it a little circle. Let your brushes do the work for you. If you hold your brush straight up. Go in a complete circle. If you can't make it, just come over here on this other side, sit it down, and make your circle. And some some bubbles underwater are not exactly round. If you'll look in, in real life, if you get the chance to go scuba diving or something, check it out. It's a lot of fun. As they go up, they're going to get bigger because they're picking up more of the air out of the water. I love that. I love that. I'm going to put some of this uh, Color Art Vivid Ultra Metallics. I'm going to put it kind of brush a little bit on the whole thing to give the water a sheen and I used African Jade which is gorgeous oh my gosh I am in love with these colors oh, I think they are beautiful put just a little bit of color in there give it a little glaze to it I hope y'all can see that that is just magnificent just gives the water just such a good good sheen to it. Love it. Oh, that just adds to it. That is wonderful. I'm just doing a br brush mix with Traditions by DecoArt, uh, the Thalo green, blue green, and the Vivid Color Art, Vivid Metallic, Ultra Metallics, and I'm using lemongrass. It's a beautiful, beautiful light green color. And I'm just mixing the two of those together on my palette. I'm using the filbert brush and I'm going up like an S stroke and going up on the end of it. 
put the chisel edge. Now I'm going to come here on this side of it and I'm going to do the same thing so that it looks like it's waving. I'm going to reload my brush and I'm going to mix a little bit of white in with that and I'm not going to mix it really well to give it just a little bit of a different color. Okay, and if you wanted to, you could come in here and you could add some white, some sea fish, you know, some kind of fish or uh, starfish or just, you know, whatever you want. This is just a little example of some things that you can do with these kinds of paints. And like I always tell my students, don't get pan don't panic unless you see me panic and I don't panic, so you're not going to panic either because it's just paint and you can fix it. And whenever you're painting something, you really want to make it an odd number. Like over here, I really need to add another something in here because it's two and that's it, your eyes don't your brain doesn't focus on that as well as if you have a third one in there well, this is an adventure for me you know to do this but I like trying different things because you can everything that you do you can incorporate it in whatever kind of painting you do you can do it now I am a brush stroke a stroke painter I put quite a bit of water down there now I need to turn it so I blow it the right way This is Linda Ann, and we're going to switch over now to an older painting that Melba did. Okay, this is a picture that I painted years ago, and I got so excited about these uh, Color Art Vivid Ultra Metallics that I thought, you know what, I'm going to put some on my goldfish. So I've already put one stroke right in here. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that just makes him pop. Oh my word, that is gorgeous. I'm just putting a little, you know, a couple little hints down there and up here on his fin on the top. Oh my gosh, he is gorgeous. And I'm just going to put some little stripes, stripes in here, let some of the other color show through. Just give it, make him have a little pop. He looks entirely different. This is amazing. I'm sold, sign me up. We're gonna make him pop too, make him show himself. This, folks, if you haven't tried this, you are, you really, really need to. It is amazing. I keep saying that word, but I'm just flabbergasted. It's so beautiful. All right, let's give him a little punch right there on the nose. All right. I love it, love it, love it. much Linda for letting me play with your toys. You're welcome Melba, that was fun. Since I work on multiple canvases at the same time, I always have something half finished laying around. I have joint compound on this one and embedded some sea glass into it. I also spray painted with some uh, odd and end spray paints on the background there. And I'm starting out with this circle and I'll just let you watch what I'm doing. This is a video hop that originated out of my Facebook group called Studio ABCSEE. I got this idea for the hop with partners because one of the members in my group said she just didn't know how to make videos and she wished that she could make videos to show her work. So I thought, well, why don't we partner up with people who either don't make videos or only made a few videos and don't feel comfortable with doing that? Why don't we partner up and show their work? So that's where this whole idea came from. If you've never participated in a video hop, then you probably don't realize that it takes literally months sometimes to get everything going. The planning, uh, the arrangements between partners particularly, took quite a bit of planning. So we've been working on this for a long time. And some of those people who didn't feel comfortable making videos started playing with it and 
some of them have lots of videos on uh, YouTube now, but they didn't at the time when we selected the partners. That's where all this came from, and I thought you might enjoy knowing the background. And just in case you notice a discrepancy in uh, not showing equal amounts of time for each artist, we didn't even worry about that. We uh, tried to stay within a certain limit of 20 minutes each. Uh, that's for each video, not for each person. 20 minutes for two people, but we didn't even attempt to give each other equal time. It's just however it turned out. So some of them you're gonna see may have very short presentations, while others will be a little longer. And I suspect you're gonna see a lot of fast forwarding just like you do in my video now. Our theme for this hop was called Underwater Fantasy, which could be interpreted in any way that the artist wanted to interpret it. When you finish watching my video, you'll need to click on the first link down in the video description box to hop to the next artist. And you'll continue doing the same thing on each video. Go to the description box, click on the first link, and it's gonna take you all the way through the hop. And when you come back to where you started, you'll know you've seen everything. I've been using these wonderful, vivid paints from Color Art. And just like Melba's reaction, I feel the same way. These are the most incredible paints. They're probably the prettiest, smoothest paints that I've ever worked with. And I apologize that you cannot see the shimmer in my video. I'm hoping to catch that in some still shots of the uh, details of this painting when I get finished at the end. One of the characteristics I've noticed about them is that a tiny drop of water makes them more fluid and gives you a wash. I'm an intuitive painter, meaning that I go into my paintings with an idea of how I want them to look. But I find that my hands and my heart take over, and when that happens, my work is much better than when my head tries to control it. I created a disaster yesterday because I was just determined that I was gonna put down on canvas what was in my head, and it was horrible. All artists go through this. Don't think that every painting you're going to do is gonna turn out great. I'm thrilled with the way this one ended up. Uh, don't always feel that way. Seldom get the satisfaction that I got out of this one. I think part of the reason that this one was successful is that I just let go and let my heart and hands do the painting instead of trying to force it. And I also think it was the quality of the paint. So sit back and enjoy, and I'll be back with you later.